Hello brothers and sisters, so this, this one's fun. <clears throat> the UAE's Abrahamic family house to open on March the 1st. Now they inaugurated it already on Thursday, so that's done. And the official opening for everybody is March 1 this year. UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan took to Twitter to express the UAE's proud history of people from diverse communities working together to create new possibilities. The Abrahamic family house has been inaugurated in the UAE capital, sending out a fresh message of tolerance and coexistence. Featuring a mosque, a church and a synagogue in the same compound, the interfaith complex on Saadi Yat Island, which means happiness, was designed by architect Sir David Ajaye. Now this is interesting. I thought to myself, just dig deeper here, Sholto. So I went and put these names in. That's how I know that Sadiat, what it means. But the architect, Sir David Ajaye, the name Ajaye means <laughs> the judgment of God. How is that for right on point, people? The architect who built this abomination, his name means the judgment of God. I thought that was just perfect. A place for learning, dialogue and worship, the Abrahamic Family House is a cultural landmark that epitomizes the shared values of harmonious coexistence, coexistence again, and understanding among the three Abrahamic faiths of Islam, Christianity and Judaism. The Abrahamic Family House is inspired by the document of human fraternity, endorsed and closely followed by Pope Francis and the Grand Imam. Now, they've named each one of these houses after one of their special people. So the Grand Imam, the, the mosque is named after him. And then the Jews have named it after Mamonides, and which is their great man back in history. And the Christians, Christians have named it after Pope Francis. So that also, for me, is beautiful and perfect because they're naming these things after men because it has nothing to do with God. It is not his. It has got nothing to do with him. I don't think the final name of this one world religion is going to be Chrislam, although they're putting that out there because there's no way I see Islam accepting the back foot with the CH in front of it. They won't allow that even for a second. So that's already a problem. But I definitely see this as a huge stepping stone in the one world religion saga of getting it all together in one place, getting the people to come and getting them to accept this amalgamation coexistence, which is going to become a one thing that will eventually worship the beast. So there it is. It was supposed to open in 2022, but since they've run out of time now, boom, 2023, inaugurated, ready to go. March 1, the people will start coming. Entrance is free. Just book ahead so that they can keep you on their database. God bless. Keep looking up. Exciting times. Shalom.